Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the different counselling processes of the states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today, we are going to discuss the counselling process of Karnataka, which will include seat matrix, eligibility criteria and many other things. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Karnataka. As you can see, there are 69 colleges and the total number of seats is 11,745. You can take a look at the map and have a better understanding how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Now, let's take a look at the lists of the government MBBS colleges. This is list 1. While you are looking at the list, please note the names, locations and the number of seats in these colleges. This is list 2 of government MBBS colleges. Here you have list 1 of private MBBS colleges. This is list 2 of the same. List 3 and list 4. Now we will look at the BDS seat matrix of Karnataka. As you can see, there are 45 colleges and the total number of seats is 3465. Again, take a look at the map to have an idea how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the list of BDS colleges. Again, don't forget to note the names, locations and the number of seats in these colleges. This is list 2 and this is list 3. Now we will look at the 2023 MBBS cutoff rank of the government colleges. You will get to know the details of the abbreviations in this chart. Here you have the same for the private MBBS colleges. Please note the ranks carefully. Now we will see what kinds of quotas are available in these colleges of Karnataka. In the government medical colleges, 85% seats come under state quota and if you take admission through this quota, you will pay approximately 59,850 rupees per annum. And if we talk about the private colleges, there are different quotas. Mainly, there are two quotas, state quota and management quota. State quota is further divided into 40% KPCF quota and 25% AMPCK and KRLMPCA quota. If you take admission through state quota, you will pay 1.41 to 1.45 lakhs per annum approximately. Now we will talk about management quota seats. This is further divided into 40% KPCF quota, 55% AMPCK and KRLMPCA quota. 15% NRI quota and the remaining 5% comes under other quotas. Now let's talk about KPCF quota. If you take admission through this quota, you will pay 7.38 to 20 lakh rupees per annum approximately. This is further divided. GMP seats 50% quota and there are open seats 50% quota. AMPCK and KRL MPCA quota is also further divided into 66% MK, MA, ME, MU, MC, MM quota and 34% GMP and open seats. If you take admission through this quota, you will pay just like you would have paid for the KPCF quota. And if you are taking admission through NRI quota or other quotas, you will pay approximately 28 to 50 lakh rupees per annum. To know the abbreviations, please refer to this list. Now let's talk about the counselling process steps. It starts with online registration. The link has been given. Next, document verification as per notified schedule. Next, online choice filling. Then allotment of seats. And in the end, you report at the allotted college. Now we will talk about the eligibility criteria. Let's see what you need 
to avail the 85% state quota seats. Candidate must have studied from government recognized educational institutions located in the state of Karnataka for a minimum period of 7 academic years commencing from 1st standard to 12th standard and must have appeared or passed either 10th or 12th standard examination from Karnataka state. Or candidate should have studied 11th and 12th standard examination within the state of Karnataka from an educational institution recognized by the state government and either of the parents should have studied in Karnataka for a minimum period of 7 years. To know about other alternate eligibility criteria, kindly check the information brochure available on the official website. Please remember this is an open state that means even after exhausting the 15% All India quota, students from other states and UTs can take admission in the private colleges of Karnataka through management quota or other quotas. Now we will talk about the list of documents which you require for counselling. Academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates, need user admit card and mark sheet, category certificate, EWS, ACBC, SC, ST if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proofs. In addition to these, you may need to reproduce more documents according to the eligibility norms. Now we will talk about scholarship. There is fee exemption benefit for SC, ST, OBC and category 1 candidates. To know more about this, please visit this website. Now what about service bond? Yes, there is service bond in Karnataka in both government and private medical colleges. You have to serve the Karnataka government in the rural areas for one year after completing your course or you will pay 10 lakh rupees as fine. So we have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counselling process of Karnataka. Thank you very much for watching.